Movie theater attendance is the lowest it's been since 1995. You know, people have got to get out of this cocooning phase and into the experiential phase. You put them in the cocoon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you did Netflix. You put us in the cocoon, man. Mitch Lowe is the CEO of MoviePass, a company that lets you see a movie a day for 10 bucks a month. It's like Netflix for movie theaters. And not so coincidentally, Mitch was also the co-founder of Netflix. MoviePass is doing the same thing in a, a little bit different way, really by giving people bad movie insurance. So worst case scenario, you, you didn't waste a bunch of money, you just wasted a couple hours. And, and you can walk out. Just a few months ago, we were only nine people in the whole company, and now we're like over 50 people. So in the interim, you're in the WeWork? Yeah, we're in the WeWork, and it's allowed us to scale kind of month by month. When MoviePass started in 2011, it cost up to $50 a month. At the time, the average price of a movie ticket in the U.S. was about $8, meaning you'd have to see seven movies a month to get the most out of your subscription. But when the company dropped prices to $10 last August, the price to see one movie evened out to be about the same price as the pass itself, and you get to see an unlimited number of movies each month. Not surprisingly, subscriptions jumped from 20,000 to over 3 million. Today we're buying about 6% of all the movie tickets in the US. When we get to 5 million, we're gonna be buying one in five tickets nationwide for all films by the end of the year. By the end of this year? By the end of this year. How does the math work? Because even if somebody's going once a month, it seems like best case scenario, you're losing some money. Yeah, a couple bucks. I don't know if you know this, but 89% of moviegoers only go four times a year. The way we make money is by getting a lot of people from that occasional moviegoer group. Because it's 2018, MoviePass isn't trying to make money off the service itself. It's trying to make money off of you and your data. You know, the reason we're able to offer you an extraordinary low price is because we're going to monetize uh, the data to sell you things, uh, to create kind of an open table for your night at the movies. Mm. So we'll be working with restaurants and bars and build deals like maybe you get a dollar off or you get a free appetizer or with babysitting you get a free hour. And of course, you know, we'll make a percentage of the revenue that you would spend there. Is there a way where I can just have a movie pass subscription? You don't have my data. I get to see my movies and you just leave me alone. There's a couple things you can opt out of and some things you can't. If you opt out of any location service, our app doesn't work. So, you know, for customers who, who don't want that, they shouldn't join. For all his confidence in interviews, MoviePass isn't acting like a company that knows what it's doing. In the past few months, it banned certain theaters from its app, lowered prices twice, turned around and unbanned those theaters, canceled its unlimited plan, and then brought it back. And it recently introduced surge pricing. MoviePass lost an estimated $45 million in June alone. So the company's unveiled a plan to raise another billion dollars from investors and do what's called a reverse stock split which would at least temporarily boost the stock price. Shareholders vote on these ideas on Monday. Stock dropped right. quite heavily, actually. Right. Very similar to Netflix in the early days. What, first five years, you guys were heavily shorted because people think it's not gonna work. When people understand the Wall Street side, like our institutions, not worried at all. I mean, they're the ones that keep re-upping on all the monies. You know, we hear uh, people are betting, you could make it through the holidays, through Christmas. Mm -hmm. Then they said you couldn't make it through uh, Oscar season. Then they said, you're not gonna make it through May. They'll always, they'll always say that.